Hey everyone, today we have a 2017 Toyota Highlander and we're going to do a test fit of the Hollywood Racks Destination 4 Bike Platform Rack. Now this rack is going to allow you to transport up to 4 bikes to and from your destination. The platform rack has a unique way of holding your bike, it doesn't have any type of frame hook to come down on top of your frame. It actually grips it using two straps on the, two, on the wheels. We have one on the front and one on the rear. These straps do have a rubber pad across the plastic strap to make sure it doesn't harm or scratch your wheels at all. Now, like I said, we don't have any type of frame hook putting downward force on top of our bike rack. We actually have another cradle with a strap gripping our down tube right here. Now we can get a better look at that cradle by looking at the empty one. It's gonna have a nice soft rubber padding right here with the same strap with a pad on it to make sure it doesn't harm or scratch the finish of our bike. Now, with it in this configuration, it's going to still be very solid. It's going to hold your bike very well, be able to hold up well at those high speeds. The, so with any hitch mounted accessory, you do have added length to your vehicle. In the case of our highlighter, we'll go ahead and we'll measure from the bumper to the outermost point. And that's going to be 41 inches added onto the back of our vehicle. So you just do want to keep that in mind when using this bike rack. Let's go ahead and take off our bike. It's going to be pretty easy to do. Just push it on the tab, push the strap out, like so. You do want to start with the two wheel straps first, just because most of the balance of the bike is being held in by this down tube cradle strap. So from here, we're just going to have a hold of our bike. Something you can do, which is what I do when I unload bikes from this bike rack, is I put my arm through the tube right here and kind of have it hooked right there so I can still use both hands to get the strap out, and that way when the strap comes out, my arm's preventing the bike from falling into the vehicle. So from here, we can just unload our bikes. And then when I'm all done unloading my bikes, I always like to replace my straps, and just kind of compact it a bit if I don't have any bikes loaded. Just makes it look a little bit nicer. You don't have to do this. You can keep the straps unhooked like they were just for loading purposes, up to you. Now this frame right here is going to fold down. What we have to do is come in here and loosen up this little wing nut. I'm going to bring that little rubber coated metal hook off. We can fold it down whichever way you want to. When you fold it down, personally what I like to do, you wanna make sure those cradles are up, but I'm going to take out this strap right here and just bring it around like that just to make sure it holds it down like so. Now, like I said, we've added on that 41 inches to the back of our vehicle, but we can take off that space just by folding this up to our vehicle. Let's come down in here towards the shank at the base. We're going to remove that safety clip right there. And then there's a hand knob on my side of the bike rack. I'm just going to unscrew that all the way. You can see it spinning right there. Remove that from here. We can fold it up. It's easiest if you just come to the back right here and fold it up. And then we replace the little bolt with the hand knob on the other side. And then make sure you thread it on and then tighten it down all the way. Make sure you get it very tight, just so it doesn't wiggle at all while you're traveling down the road. There we go. Put that safety clip back in. Now let's go ahead and measure again from the bumper of our Highlander to the outermost point of our bike rack. Get from there. We're down to 15 inches added onto the back. So that is a pretty big difference. This is something you wanna keep in mind for any close quarter situations like parking. Now let's go ahead and come down and see how it attaches to our hitch. This bike rack is going to be compatible with any standard 2 inch by 2 inch hitch receiver. We are going to have a threaded anti-rattle bolt down here that is tightened down. Helps take away the shake and play from our bike rack while we're traveling. And we do have a nice lock on the other side. So it's going to be a nice, nice theft deterrent. No one can remove that bolt without the key. Now with all that being said, that's going to do it for our test fit of the Hollywood Racks Destination 4-Bike Platform Rack on our 2017 Toyota Highlander.